Hello you guys, welcome back into my channel. I am Jay's Reaction Videos and thank you guys for tuning in to my channel. And if I were you, I would grab a treat and let's get ready for this tea. Hello you guys. How y'all doing today? I'm trying to fix my camera. Well, come on in because I got some stuff that I want to talk about. We're going to be talking about um, the businessman and the other woman, which y'all already know who I'm talking about. So, uh, hold on, y'all. Let me adjust my uh, camera. Um, let me see. Can y'all see me like this? Okay, so thank you guys for tuning in. I am Jay's Reaction Video. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having a great day. I'm probably looking wild today because I've just been out all day doing a lot of things. So um, we're on our way to go get something to eat. So while we're on our way to get something to eat, I'm going to drop this right with y'all guys. Um... At first, if you have not seen my video that I have did about the, the mukbang that we did with, uh, with me and my husband did, you need to go look at that video before you look at this. And this was will tell you that I told y'all guys the truth. Now, the uh, businessman, uh, which y'all know who I'm talking about, he dropped this post eight hours ago. I did my video... We was on the mountain. Yesterday, man. Well, yesterday. Well, yesterday I, I dropped the video. But if you have not watched that video, you need to go and you need to watch it, okay? So I'm going to read y'all this post. And while I read this post, I'm going to break it down and tell y'all what's going on. Okay. Happy Friday. Mucker family. It's been a busy week with the finalized documents on the new home. Getting our front room renovated with the built in fireplace and LED lights. Taking care of the th taking care of things with kiddos and getting the contract signed from all these sponsorships. God is good. Alright. Then he says I'll be dropping part two of the uh, I don't know. Oh, I'll be dropping part two of the last Q&A from last Saturday later on today. I, I cut out a lot of things in the video to address it at a later time. There is a time and a place for everything. Some things that I should have been showed y'all I want I won't Hold on. I should have been show y'all. I want for my possible baby mother to have a delivery without any unnecessary complication. Which he's what he's saying is that um, he gonna show y'all guys proof. He gonna show y'all guys proof of some things, and um. He don't want to do it right now because he already know that she's in the hospital, which is, you already know who it is, Popo. And he don't want her to have any complication if he, she, if anybody, if she actually see the video, he want her to have, you know, a good delivery. So that's what he says on this part right here. And that's why he said possible baby mother, meaning that he don't know. Then he go on and says, as I've been told the possible baby mother in our last conversation months ago on the phone, I still, I will still be at the hospital. Okay, now y'all know y'all guys, she did a video and said that he said he didn't want to be at the hospital, that he rather to sit in the car, which she, she's lying because like I told y'all in my last video, I really believe that he really wants to be there. It's her because she changing her mind because she know that he's getting married to 
the other woman and she don't like that woman, period. She don't want her to be around the child. So that's why she keeps making up all these lies and allegations, making like that, you know, he's not the father and he's this and he's that and it's not a baby eom and all this other stuff. Like, it's crazy. Like, allegedly, it's crazy. So, then he go on to say, he said that uh, he'll still be at the hospital when the baby is born if she tells him where the hospital is. Like, she won't even tell him where she's at. He don't even know what hospital, where she at, when it's taking place, or none of that. Like, she would not tell him nothing. This is her fault. This is why I keep telling y'all, I don't, I do not feel sorry for her because for one, she putting, bringing this out on herself. She sit up here making these sad videos like she's so fearful, she's scared, and I want to be by herself. But look, you the one doing this. You mad because of, a, because of the other woman? Like, come on now, get over it. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's angry. I'm telling you, she's angry. Really, 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 really angry, and she's really bitter right now. And she don't want to have nothing to do with the other woman, period, at all. Um, just like he said, he said that he don't know what hospital she's at. So then he go on to say, but I just won't, he said, but I just won't be inside the delivery room. I don't want to cause her more stress by being inside of the same delivery room as her, meaning that they got a lot of problems that they did not solve and that is still issue there about concerning about the child as well as what happened between them two in the relationship and how she found out at the end of the day that him and the other woman was talking uh, while they, you know, while they was going through this situation. So that's why, because it's, you know how like when somebody be in a situation like she's in, and uh, even though they have not solved and it ain't no closure there, that's why he said he don't want to be in the same delivery room because it's a lot going on and he don't want to upset her than what she already be, being stressed out because she already, you know, her water already done broke. And then also, you know what I'm saying, that uh, allegedly that, uh, you know, she got enough stress as it is. That's the reason why he said he don't want to be in the same delivery room. Then he go on to say, uh, I'm sorry y'all about this phone being wobbly. I'm trying to uh, keep it steady, but I told y'all I'm in the vehicle and I'm trying to hold the phone. I don't have my little selfie stick, so y'all have to excuse it. Uh, then he go on to say, uh, I don't want to cause her more stress by being inside of the same delivery room as her. And then we can get the DNA test done afterwards. Like I been trying to do in private with her in December, but she didn't want to do it. Okay, now he's saying that she the one didn't want to do the. Okay, I'm gonna say this right here. When I knew her, and we was on the phone talking, she did want to, to get the DNA done. She did. Um, uh, hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on for one second. Okay, sorry about that. She did wanted to get the DNA test done, but you know, she was scared because she didn't know how they was gonna do the DNA because she didn't want it to harm the child, but which they got new technologies now, so it wasn't gonna harm her, so she was gonna get it done. But when she found out, you know, when I kept telling her that he, that, that him and uh the neck the other woman was together, you know, I kind of feel like she didn't believe me at first, and then in her mind she did believe it. Uh, because, you know, she kept just saying, yeah, yeah, you was right, Jay, uh, about the boat and stuff like that. But when she really found out they was talking, that's when she changed her mind and didn't want the DNA test done no more because when she found out he was with her and he was going to stay with her and he wasn't going to leave her, then she changed her mind and said, okay, well, I'm not going to give you the DNA test because... Uh, you want to be with her, you ain't going to have nothing to do with my child because she do not like the other woman and what he did was dirty. That's what she's thinking. That's how she's really thinking. Okay, so then he goes on to say the last thing I've heard from her was uh, one, she was happy the baby wasn't a, the M word. You know, he heard that, which I think he heard that wrong, which whenever she did do the, uh, 
the reveal. She was just saying it wasn't a mother mugger, meaning it wasn't a girl. It wasn't a little girl. It was a boy. So I think he got a little misunderstanding on that part, unless somebody just actually, unless she really just told him that on the phone now. Uh, then she said, I mean, then he said that she said the initials, he heard that the, the initials for the baby would be D-A-C, meaning that he think it's going to be, you know, D, and I don't know what the middle name, but the last name is C. You already know who that is, the money bag man last name. Then she said, uh, I mean, then he said he heard the dates may not add up and there's a strong possibility that the other guy is the father. Then he gets, he said that he gets on here, the other father, he gets on live and saying that he's having morning sixes and then makes a community post talking about dad, dad, these are the, these are facts. This is what he said, which I just really think is serious. I really think they got on there just to throw folks out because just like I'm telling y'all, if y'all know who Popo is, she dirty, conniving, and she don't care. When you cross her path and she don't like you no more, she gonna do whatever it takes to make your life miserable. Plain and simple. I know her. So then he goes on to say one more thing. Just because the other guy denies something doesn't make it true. People be lying. People been lying since the beginning of of time, especially the guy whoever the guy whoever I mean who that guy whoever said that did the does the series about a baby possibly being theirs, if they're saying it's really not their baby, this is sick. Meaning that he said if they did this as a series, they are sick individual. Who would do that or an unborn child that can't even take for, take up for themselves and they're gonna do a series on something that ain't that can't be the possibility of his who would do that them <laughs> they will do that because they don't care and they just want views that now the the money band may want views but she but popo she did that because she really don't care at the end of the day she just she just wanted to get back at him because she's hurting so that's what he was saying on that part right there uh, about um, if they did do did this a series and it wasn't true, then they are sick individual, which I already knew was a series. Anyway, then he goes on to say, uh, if they're saying it's really not their baby, it's sick individual. This is real life, and that's weird. As H E L L in the Bible, Peter lied and denied Jesus three times, but uh, y'all acting like this guy words said it's supposed to be loud dropping then he said i'm gonna drop a video later on this weekend but let me say this right here at the end of the day i don't care what nobody say or nothing i know this for a fact you know you supposed to be getting over right here uh, it ain't no i i was just gonna go through the light to make it easy i know that but um i'm gonna say this right here about this because this is all that he put on the post i don't care what nobody say for me, I know for a fact that he is the father of this child. You regardless, because I know because how she talked about it so much. And she always used to tell me she would never sleep with another man because that's nasty because she got a, a baby in her stomach and she just don't want to do that. So I'm going to believe her on that part that she didn't do that. But at the end of the day, I know this is his child. She's just upset. She's really angry and she really don't really care because she's mad at the other woman so that's my input on this right here i wanted to do a reaction on it you know like i like i told y'all in my last video this is just a sad situation and really tell you the truth what what they really need to do is stop going around here telling all these lies and do what you need to do because i'm gonna tell you one thing <clears throat> <clears throat> At the end of the day, people need to stop lying and just be honest about everything. It doesn't matter because what she's trying to, what Popo trying to do, she's trying to pay evil for evil. And she's not winning. So what she needs to do is tell the truth and let God fix and handle the situation. Because while she keep putting, dabbling and putting her hand in and plotting up, it is not working for her at all. So what she needs to do is tell the truth, do what she needs to do for that, for that unborn baby's sake and let it be.
at the end of the day because at the end of the day ain't nobody gonna be hurt but the unborn unborn child because he's in some mess that he don't even know what's going on because he ain't even here yet you know what i'm saying so uh i just hope everybody just get along and just for the baby's sake you know because this is stupid it's crazy you know this is something serious and at the end of the day, why would you play with something like this? Like, I am so sick of baby mothers always trying to plot and not let these fathers see their child. Quit this stuff because you're angry. Quit it. Let these fathers see their child. If that's what, if they want to be, in a, a, be a part of these kids' life, let them be it. Because it's a lot of men like that that don't even take care of their kids. And it's sad. If, but if a father wants to be in the child out, quit lying to these people and quit lying to the child and let these children, children know about who their daddy is so that when they grow up, they won't be sitting up here wondering, like, who is he? What's my daddy name? Because it's sad how people keep constantly doing this stupid stuff, man. It's crazy. It's so crazy. So with that being said, you guys, I am Jay's reaction video. Again, stay tuned for the next video. See you guys later.